snow at the very end of April is very wet. I've gone for card as the material to clad my cow catcher in. Look, and I've got some very sticky glue. It's actually just sticking to my fingers. Here we are, this is going to be could be a fail video, couldn't it? Um, I can't get the card to conform completely to the outline of the plough, but enough to be something of a representation of a snow plough. It's not going to be a very large one. It's only a tiny little thing. Um, hopefully just about big enough uh, to f put on the front of another loco. Uh, a bit rough. You can see some gaps in, uh, in there, but um, I'm not going to try with any steel plates or uh, even the plastic card because deforming it into that shape is a little bit tricky. Uh, it's creased the card a bit but we'll see um, how it looks once it's got some paint on. I've now got to decide what colour to spray it. Uh, I have an idea of doing it in uh, red lead, red primer, uh, but not sure. It, maybe that will be a starting point. Before I start hatting, hacking up some uh, tin plate with a pair of scissors, I've got some alternative sheet materials. This is a uh, plastic card. It's uh, probably about a millimeter thick. I can't read its thickness anymore. Uh, it came from Freising Hall, but the um, label has washed off. Plastic card. Pizza base, that's a bit thicker. It's three millimeters thick. Uh, probably too thick for the job. You're not going to see sheet materials very well, are you? This Meccano. But the other thing I've got is this uh, packaging uh, that something came in. Uh, it's made of plastic material to start with, and it has a card, some card inside. Uh, and even if I just use the card as a former, I a template so that I know what shape I need to cut around. I think that might be quite useful. So I'm going to start with the card removed from this packaging material. Uh, it's only a tiny, tiny little snowplow, isn't it? But let's see. It's snowing outside, which has given me, um, a prompt me to think that I could do with a snowplow. Well, I've not got one. What I did do was take the cow catcher off the front of this uh, American Outline loco. And um, last night I had a Frey Bentos pie. I'm wondering if I could add something to that because it's got a sort of plough shape. Um, initially I was looking at a uh, piece of plastic, but uh, the plastic material I've got in stock is all a little bit too thick to curve nicely around there. I had thought of cutting up um, a butter pot, but I've not got an empty washed butter pot. Uh, you know, butter uh, pots come with thin plastic. It, uh, it doesn't have to be self-supporting because obviously you've got that uh, ribbed support. I might have a try at cutting this with some scissors. It's rather heavy weight. Um, let me say I have previously made things with aluminium drinks cans and that is such thin and light material you can easily cut it with a pair of scissors and you have a malleable sheet material once you've opened up a uh, drinks can. Um, but there we go. Yeah, that's where it came from. Uh, that's my initial starting point and I might uh, also, a look at um, a butter carton. 